Well, hey guys, I'm back with another sunscreen empties video. I like to do these seasonally, and these are all of the sunscreens that I finished up throughout the summer months. I went through quite a bit of sunscreen. Now, if you missed my recent skincare and hair care empties video, check that out. I do those separate from the sunscreen so that you know the video doesn't turn into like an hour long affair because I make my way through quite a few products. I try out a lot and it's always eye-opening what makes it to the final cut of, oh my gosh, she actually finished that up. It must be good. This is one I didn't finish up over the summer uh, entirely. I've been working on it for a while, but it's great. It's a Japanese sunscreen, Omi Verdeo UV Moisture Gel. This used to come in a smaller bottle, and I love the fact that it is in a larger bottle these days because it's just the perfect sunscreen for both the face and the body. It's water resistant. It's a nice gel-like consistency. It absorbs very quickly. It's not greasy. It's moisturizing. It's free of fragrance. It really is the perfect sunscreen. It has very good filters for broad spectrum protection like Tinosorb. Um, if you want to try a Japanese sunscreen, this is one of my favorites and one I have repurchased. As a matter of fact, um, I just got a new Stylevana order in and I reordered this. I really like it. I love the pump. It's easier to reapply. Yeah, this is a favorite for sure. Speaking of body sunscreens, Eucerin's Advanced Hydration. This is so nice as a moisturizer with a broad spectrum sunscreen that is water resistant, SPF 50. Uh, these sunscreens from Eucerin are really nice. Fragrance free, very moisturizing because of the overall formula. It has sodium hyaluronate, which is hyaluronic acid, deeply hydrating. And it has uh, compounds from licorice root, which are, which are anti-inflammatory. Yeah, glyceriza inflata and glyceratinic acid from licorice root, which are you know anti-inflammatory. And it also has sodium ascorbyl phosphate. That's a stable form of vitamin C that actually, uh, you know, it, whether or not it gets into the skin converts to ascorbic acid and boosts collagen is a stretch. But there is some research to suggest it may be helpful for people who have acne. Maybe it helps cut down on oxidation of sebum, which would otherwise be very inflammatory and aggravate the acne. I highly recommend this. It's a good everyday sunscreen, especially going into maybe the colder months. It is a little bit, uh, for some people, he heavier in consistency, but I really like that. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy to me, but it is in comparison to that lightweight gel, the Verdia one, this one is a, a richer formula, but it's very nice. And overall, to me, I find it very lightweight in general. All right, this I finished up very recently. This is an underrated drugstore sunscreen for the face, the Banana Boat Protection Plus Vitamins. Uh, you need to try this. It's pretty inexpensive and it's not shiny, too shiny. I mean, pretty much all water resistant sunscreens are to a certain extent shiny on the face, uh, but this one is pretty good. It does not burn for me on the skin, around the eyes. It doesn't run into my eyes. It's very moisturizing without being greasy. And I like it because it also has niacinamide, which is good for redness. It's good for the moisture barrier. In theory, it helps cut down on oxidative stress. Um, and it also is helpful for uh, hyperpigmentation. Get the one that says face because they make one that doesn't say face and they make one I think this is body. And those have fragrance. The face one though is fragrance free. Now this does have coconut oil, which I find it's very nice moisturizing, but some people find that it aggravates their acne. So if that is you, you know, just be aware of that with this product. I also finished up this Beauty of Joseon uh, sunscreen. I rather enjoyed this. It wasn't mind blowing. I prefer their other sunscreen a little bit better. This one isn't like wildly different, but it was pretty nice. The Ginseng Moist Sun Serum, very good filters, SPF 50, PA 4 plus. Um, this is nice and light and consistency. But for me personally, I just prefer their original formula and I would go back to that. As a matter of fact, I have a backup and one in progress, but this was not too bad, just not one that I would necessarily repurchase per se. Speaking of Japanese sunscreens, the Can Make Mermaid um, UV gel, you need to try this one too. This is great for the face at least. Um, it says for face and body, but the tube is so small. I usually just end up using this on my face. I, you know, to, to use it on the body, uh, you would go through this very, very quickly, uh, if not all at once, depending on how much body surface area you have exposed. Uh, but it's very lightweight. It's not greasy. Again, excellent filters. 
a uh, very hydrating formula. And I finished the Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Now this is a Korean sunscreen that I adore. This is probably my third, I wanna say, or fourth bottle of this. This is underrated, well, it's not underrated. A lot of people like it, but it is good. It is hyped up, but hyped up for a reason. A lot of people, you know, a lot of times on social media, things get hyped up and you're like, is it really good? This is really good. It's moisturizing, but it's not greasy. It's lightweight. It works well under makeup. Yeah, another great one. SPF 50 PA4+. Plus. This is one I currently also have a new bottle of in progress. It's definitely a favorite. I think it was a 2022 sunscreen favorite, the Neutrogena Invisible Daily. You guys need to try this. If you haven't and you're looking for a drugstore sunscreen and you want one that's more of a fluid consistency, I think you would really like this. Now, sometimes people say that, you know, the Neutrogena sunscreens, they burn and sting in the eye, near the eye area. For me, this particular formula does not do that. It's very lightweight. I like that it's water resistant. It's SPF 60. If you have oily skin and you like that fluid formula, try this out because it's nice and lightweight, but it's also hydrating and leaves the skin very, it gives the skin a very nice radiant glow while offering excellent quality, broad spectrum protection. This is one of my all time favorite drugstore sunscreens. This one from Neutrogena, the Invisible Daily Defense Sun Serum. This product is one I go through pretty much every season and it's gotta be one of my all time. I know I keep saying this is an all time favorite, but honestly, I, try, I have so many sunscreens in progress that the all time favorites are the ones that I obviously finish up. This, if you are looking for a tinted sunscreen, you need to try this. It is so good. I love it so much. I hope it never, ever, ever goes away. This is one of my all time, top of the line, day to day favorite moisturizing sunscreens. It has a tint in it that is not orangey. It's not gray. It's not too peachy. It's just right. And it provides just the right amount of coverage. It's not like foundation but it really just makes your skin glow and it kind of has a nice way of brightening up your skin tone without necessarily overtly camouflaging everything, but it just, I don't know, it has a very nice dewy hydrated finish without being super shiny. It has niacinamide, which is great for the moisture barrier. The tint blends into the skin very well. When I am wearing this sunscreen and using it on a daily basis as my everyday moisturizer with sunscreen for day-to-day -day use, I see a noticeable difference in just the smoothness, luminosity of my skin while wearing this. So it really is cosmetically a very nice formula. Everything dermatology I have ever tried has been a win. Um, and I even had the opportunity actually to visit uh, their factory, where they make this and go on a tour and that was really fun. So check out my video on that. Um, and this is one I buy over and over and over again. This most recent bottle and the past few bottles I've actually purchased on Amazon. So if you're an Amazon shopper, you can get it there. It comes from them. The Dermatology one is a hybrid sunscreen. So it has zinc and octinoxate in it. And it also has a tint, so the tint comes from iron oxides, which may help in offering protection from visible light that could otherwise worsen hyperpigmentation, especially for people who have medium to deep skin tones. But speaking of tinted sunscreens, this one from Kroger I finished up, and this is so underrated. It's a dupe for the Super Goop Glow Screen. And in my opinion, it's superior to Glow Screen. It's an organic sunscreen, AKA chemical, and it is SPF 40. It just gives the skin such a nice luminous glow. It's not greasy. It's got the iron oxides in there. So if you're looking for that to help in protecting against visible light, it offers that. It also has niacinamide, again, something I really like because it's good for the moisture barrier and in theory, fighting off oxidative stress. It has B5, which is panthenol, a very moisturizing ingredient. It also has hyaluronic acid, which is hydrating. Now, like I said, this is billing itself as comparable to Super Goop Glow Screen. I tried a couple of years ago, the Super Goop Glow Screen, and I found it fine, I liked it, but it was a little shimmery. This is not, this doesn't have that glittery effect, which I prefer. I really, really like this. I hope they don't discontinue it. Kroger also has a Super Goop Unseen sunscreen dupe. That one I don't like. 
the, the Kroger one. I, I prefer the Super Goop one to the Kroger dupe because the Kroger dupe has some essential oils in it, which I don't care for. But taking a few steps back, uh, with regards to the unseen, if you're looking for a dupe for that and you have Trader Joe's in your area, they have a dupe for it that is really, really good. Better than the Kroger dupe. But the Kroger dupe for Glow Screen is where it's at. Better than Glow Screen. This is, don't sleep on this. Give it a try. Very inexpensive. Uh, I, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, I I, as a matter of fact, next time I go on Kroger, I need to, I need to scan around because Kroger does sunscreens more in the, oh, it's summer, sunscreen, and then the rest of the year, radio silence, and they hide them. Uh, and so hopefully they still have this. I I'm gonna look, um, because it's good. I discovered the Up and Up Sport sunscreen for the lips. This is such a great value. Comes in a two pack. You can either get this, or it's inspired by a Banana Boat um, SPF lip balm, which is also very good. No fragrance. SPF 50, water resistant, super moisturizing, easy to apply. This uh, was a is a must have for me, these SPF lip balms, because the lips, they don't retain the sunscreen as long as the skin, because you're always talking, drinking stuff, eating, it just rubs off. So you need to reapply the lip sunscreen a lot more frequently when you are outside. And this is easy, easy to apply. It doesn't have fragrance or flavorance, which are common lip irritants. It does have um, stevia in it, which shouldn't be a problem, but someone pointed that out once. So if it bothers you, uh, be aware this does have that. It's water resistant, which is great. It helps ensure it stays on a little bit better on the lips, although you do need to reapply. <laughs> all right, y'all. So those are all of the sunscreens that I have finished up, but I certainly have several more in progress. So always wearing my sunscreen every single day. Let me know in the comments though, what sunscreens have you been loving over the past several months throughout summer? Uh, are you excited now that fall is officially here? Uh, hopefully it feels like fall wherever you are. It's still pretty warm here, but it's not boiling. So that's pleasant. Anyway, y'all now on the end slide, I'm going to link my empties video of all of the skincare and hair care that I have finished up. You're going to want to check that out next because I went through a lot of really excellent body care products, facial serums. Check it out. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.